Welcome, welcome, one and all, to another Subscriber Saturday. I am Squiggles, and this is a gold level 3v3. I did watch this at times 8, and it's pretty cool it's with a lot of back and forth action. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy it because I enjoyed watching it at super light speed. Not that I was able to see much. I was just able to see pretty much streaks of different colors flying across the map. But that's how I preview games so I can get a sense of what's going on without actually watching them. So <laughs> the games can still be somewhat surprising to me. Now it's going to be a top versus bottom. And we have Gangsta, the Protoss player. We have Bach. Like Ungbok, I guess. The Terran player. And another Terran player, kind of chubby. So a Protoss, Terran, Terran versus the Wind, or just Wind, the Protoss player. We also have San Santa's Fae. <laughs> Clever. The Terran player. And the Protoss player, Zatoa. So a Protoss, Protoss, Terran versus a Terran, Terran, Protoss. And if you were a Zerg player, we will just pretend that this is the new OP creep and you guys can be included as well. I apologize that there is no Protoss in this matchup, but such is life with all of its disappointments and stuff. But um, I, I don't know. I, I think that this is a pretty decent unit comp. Not quite a mirror, so we can see some variations in stuffs by different people. It looks like there is some scouting going on. It looks like Bach is sending, or Bach is sending over a probe. And Zatoa is going to be sending over a probe and just hiding him in the corner here. Not really scouting, but maybe going to do something later on with him. So we'll have to keep our eye on him as it looks like Bach is going to come into Zatoa's base and be like, oh, I see what you're doing. Throwing down that pylon, you clever duck, you. That's right, ducks are clever. Stay with me on this. Um, <laughs> it looks like a couple of barracks going down for Santa's Fay. And what do we have for wind? It looks like a gateway and a simulator and another simulator. So a really fast second in the simulator. Even before the um, the cyber core goes down, which it should go down any second. Ta-da! There we go. Only one pylon, though. Needs to get that second pylon so it doesn't get supply blocked. Build another pylon probe. Ta-da! There's the pylon. Over here, it looks like we have Gangsta going to be throwing down another pylon. Only has one assimilator right now, so looking more Forgate-ish. And over here, it looks like Bach getting his command center, as well as he's going two racks again. Looks like they have a tight wall here at their red. Before I lie, yes, we do, as is evidenced by this SCV who really wants to get in. And there we go, going to lower that supply depot and let him in. Looks like kind of chubby, going to be going ahead and getting two gas now after he went two racks to open. And I assume people just go two racks like this because they don't want to die to any kind of crazy stuff. So they want to get their production facilities out as quickly as le possible. Looks like Cybercore being Chrono Boost out by Zatoa. As um, not a lot happening in the opening stages. Nobody deciding to cheese. Everybody going for more of a standard. What is this? Looks like a Twilight Council for a win. So we could be seeing some DTs considering he only has one gateway. Should be adding on a couple more of those probably. But he does have a fast two assimilators like I said. So going to be stockpiling some gas. And we could see some DTs. I do like I do like DTs. It's pretty pretty good. Meanwhile, this probe still here for, Z for Zatoa. And uh, hmm, I wonder what he's going to... Be seeing looks like Gangsta going for three gateways right now. Chrono boosting out that cyber core at the same time. Zetoa has his third gateway going down as well. Chrono boosting his cyber still. And it looks like an eBay going down. A couple three racks for Santa's Fay now. Getting a tech lab, but not quite getting any um, upgrades just yet. Could just be waiting for the right moment. Wind going to be chrono boosting out his cyber core. So lots of lots of chrono boosting out going on on lots of cyber cores. Scans going down, so people seeing exactly what's going on. And the wind is actually hiding his dark shrine. I don't think that actually got seen, but and he is showing four gateways. So they could think it's blink stalkers, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see. But hmm, let's see how they react. Actually, is anybody getting any sort of detection or anything? Uh, kind of chubby is going to have two orbitals that will help. Bach, meanwhile, looks like he does not have detection of any kind. Nope. And for Gangsta, does he have... No. Oh, he does have a forge. Throwing down the left forge. And, oh, there's the probe. And he's going to be running, seeing if he can do... Uh, he's going to scout the factory with the tech lab. But that's all he's going to see. It looks like right after that, a... Um, a siege mode getting researched, as well as a siege Letenka. So, Gangsta, four gates... And a cyber core, and now getting a Twilight Council. Going to throw down one cannon right here. So, so smart. He saw the DTs and he was like, well, 
he could be getting DT. And look at the timing on this. 4 DT is being warped in right now. And they're going to be running around. And, ooh, actually, they could come in this way. And that would be really good because this is not Nexus Wars. So Reapers are actually not detectors. Yep. <laughs> Only detectors in Nexus Wars. So if the... Oh, is this going to finish in time? I think, yeah, I think it will. And he is splitting up his his uh, Dark Templar. I don't know if that was on purpose or not. But if he attacks here, it's going to be no bueno. If he attacks here, he could do some real damage. So we're going to have to see exactly what he does here. Is there any kind of destructible rocks over here? No, there are not. Okay. So these DTs, not going to be able to do a whole lot over here. But this DT over here is going to be able to. Oh, there's the scan. And one DT is taken out. Looks like he did do some damage to the supply depot. And it does need to be repaired. There's the SUV to repair. So nicely done there. And these DTs, it looks like, are they? Yeah, it looks like people can, they can actually see them. Oh, another scan going down. This one just out of range. So actually, that's good to know. If you have a photon cannon right here, then um, you have detection all the way until here this little area because the guys were here and they're getting killed right here not so good to know good to know meanwhile it looks like uh santa's fey and zatoa going to be marshalling their forces right here in the middle it looks like santa's fey going to be running back now and oh what is going on over here it looks like reapers killing almost all of the winds probes wow look at that two kills four kills four kills and what is this um hmm Oh, there we go. Five kills. So, well, a lot, a lot of damage done by these Reapers. Crazy good job there. And now it looks like Zatoa and everyone is going to go and try to corner them. These Reapers uh, are just kind of chilling out here. And it looks like, is Zatoa going all the way around here? Oh, wow. So these Reapers are actually in a lot of trouble as Stalkers find them here. And it looks like, uh, not going to be able to escape that way. Marines Marauders coming the other way. And these Reapers are going to meet their maker literally because of all of the carnage that they did they have been tried and found guilty okay so it looks like wind is going to be the first one to go ahead and grab an expo uh, it... yep oh phew i was right zeto was just right behind him so bottom team taking an early lead as far as expos go and i don't know bach has siege tanks there are also immortals out for gangsta nice a mix of stalkers and zealots as well. Some turrets going down. Bach is now expanding. And it looks like open expansion being at least queued for uh, who is that? Gangsta. Yeah. So whenever that probe gets there, it'll be pretty good. And it looks like they're actually defending here, which is, I guess, okay. Oh, kind of chubby expanding as well. But I think that actually having some forces, yeah, like right here, like a couple of siege tanks here, maybe a turret. Um, something to protect those destructible rocks because I mean if you don't if these destructible rocks don't get killed then you have to let's see if you start here's here's your ramp right you have to go around here over here can't go this way because we're saying destructible rocks all the way around here and that that is so long not to mention they'll kill this expansion first which is probably why kind of chubby is defending here but if you can just defend these destructible rocks so so good that was my whole point because otherwise the the attack path is one screen length from here to here. <laughs> so, yeah. Got to be a little careful there. Oh, my goodness. Looks like Santa's Fay going to be going ahead and expanding. Double expanding, actually. So, getting a little bit a little bit expand happy. Uh, orbital going down. Or not an orbital. Planetary going down for Bach right now. And it looks like Gangsta going to be moving out with some stuff. Ooh, look at this. Looks like kind of chubby. Is going to be kind of oozing his way down. But Santa's Fay is going to meet him. And it looks like these siege tanks not going to siege. And his Marines and Marauders don't even have stem yet. So the stemmed Marines and Marauders of Santa's Fe going to just roll through them and take a nice little lead there. Gangsta is moving his forces into position. And I don't know if he has decided to do it or not. But it uh, looks like he is going to go ahead and engage. And stem has hurt these Marines and Marauders quite a bit. And he may stem again. I think it's probably a good idea if he does. But he may just run away as well. Lose, taking some forces lost with the runaway. And going to have to move his planetary or his... His command center, good thing he didn't morph it into anything yet because, well, if it was planetary, he would have just lost it. And, uh, yeah. Ooh, nice. Kind of chubby with his kind of awesome siege tank. But the siege tank is going to get focused down. A couple of force fields going down as well. But it looks like, actually, I don't really know who's going to win. But it looks like Zatoa just has too many forces here. Now, it looks like who is coming to help. It looks like Bach is coming to help. But there's also reinforcements coming from wind. 
So that was a little battle going down, and now Bach is going to be coming in here trying to do another battle. Siege tank sieging in a nice little line here. So it's going to be pretty hard for these forces to go ahead and break this. Marine stemming, taking a lot of damage up front, and these siege tanks are able to just do their damage. Yep, and it looks like it looks like Zato is going to pull, pull back, and Wind is going to just sacrifice all of his guys to Ire. Santa's face still has this lifted up, but he is not quite out of harm's way yet. And it looks like oh, these guys being pretty pretty cautious but oh now he's going to be putting some hurt on this command center and meanwhile ooh, nice siege tank placement here and because of these medevacs he is able to just get this line of sight also there's a couple guys up here and so much damage being done siege tanks just absolutely rolling through and destroying a ton of stuff as units were a little bit moving through everything and not attack moving and now well now they have a decent surround so are they going to do anything oh looks like the wind coming out with a couple of uh, Dark Templar and these DTs are going to actually do a lot as there is no scans going down at all DTs and the Marines Marauders going to go ahead and clean these guys up. Boom! So managing to secure that at least for now and now this <laughs> command center is going to be like can I finally land guys please thank you jeez. So Santa's Fe having to really work for his or having to really work for his third expansion. I mean, he did double expand, so it's not the end of the world. And it looks like everybody now on at least two bases, Santa's Fe with three, but he hasn't quite done anything with this one yet. I'm going to be interested to see if he decides to make this a planetary or an orbital, because with siege tanks, planetary is not so great, but they're good against everything else. So, hmm. But against anything else, he can just lift up as well, lose some SUVs, but that's it. So, interesting decision that he'll have to make there. Meanwhile... How are these rocks doing? Looks like rocks, full health. Rocks, full health. Okay. And now it is going back to a little bit of a turtley type situation where everybody's just massing up some units. It looks like kind of chubby has a lot of factories out right now. It looks like one, two, three facts out. Four kind of chubby also has, what is this, getting plus one vehicle weapons. Looks like Colossus coming down for Gangsta. And uh, High Templar Archives coming down for Zatoa. So all kinds of stuff. Everybody getting just about everything. We have starports and uh, Thors coming out from a couple different people. Charge Zealots coming down from a couple different people. Siege tanks, like I said before, just tons of stuff everywhere. It looks like these destructible rocks picked the wrong day. They did not pay their, um, <clears throat> I'm doing the air quotes, taxes to the Mafia. And so they're going to be killed off by a combination of siege tanks and Marines. These Marines do have stim and combat shields, but not quite any upgrades as far as that goes yet. That is... Uh, that's Bach. If we look over here, we can see that Gangsta has, if I can find some army units for him, he has plus two uh, armor already and plus one weapons. So nice job by him. Looks like Zatoa getting plus two, plus two for his forces. Uh, let's see, who else have I not seen since there's nothing going on right now? Kind of chubby with plus one infantry weapons, and that is it for now. Uh, let's see, is he getting anything else? Yes, he's getting plus two infantry weapons and plus one vehicle weapons as he expands again, getting another orbital. So kind of chubby going with just the orbital things, relying on units more and turrets to defend himself and going to be getting a lot of mules. Maybe since some supply drops, it kind of depends. Uh, yeah, it just kind of depends. Nice little battle going on here as the Toa and the combined forces have... Uh, well, actually, this is kind of weird because uh, they're kind of mixed and matched right now. Oh, Zatoa has Blink. A nice little move here. He actually moved here and then queued up the Blink. So they, instead of just everybody Blink and half of them coming, ending up down here still and half of them up here, they actually run here and then Blink. So if they get caught right here, then they just actually patiently wait until they can get here and then Blink up. So nice little trick there. Now it looks like Bach and Gangsta have temporarily taken control of the middle of the map. That is going to allow Bach to go ahead and expand, getting an orbital here. So he decides for an orbital. And an orbital for Santa's Fe too over here so hmm, nice job there but these gold expansions are just so so good oh no DT is getting scanned and absolutely destroyed not doing a lot of damage at all and now it looks like the <clears throat> bottom team may be in danger of losing their destructible rocks first these destructible rocks are still at full health and down they go so now there's a very short attack path but there are some force fields going down so nice job there that is going to give the wins team uh, the opportunity to help him defend and you can see that it looks like Zatoa coming up with Zealots and Stalkers blinking in there and going to be taking out these yep these uh, siege tanks they all go down there is Colossus out for Gangsta as well as Immortals Storms going down from Zatoa as he does a lot of damage continuing to storm and his Zealots running in and continuing to eat storms as well they are storm watchers and they really just love feeling the storms and it looks like Santa's Fe able to come over here and help defend as well. And now they're going to be putting pressure back on the destructible rocks of the top team. 
And is there anything going on over here? It looks like uh, da, da, gonna be pushing in a little bit. And nobody has control of this Elvanga Watchtower. Oh, that's so crazy. Because now these siege tanks with their range right here can actually, yep, can siege up some stuff because of this this little guy right here. And it looks like Zatoa and Santa's Fe and the wind, all of them are just gonna be like, okay, let's slowly push up here as well. Uh, there is going to be uh, the opportunity for a concave by the top team is that you're able to put guys all around here as your opponents are forced to come in here. Nice little storm here to kind of force his way up the ramp, but there are siege tanks siege. There is also a raven, and he does have enough energy. Oh, storm's going down everywhere. It looks like, oh, the point defense storm does go down. As they, Oh, look at all those. Do, 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 the Star Wars lasers, and these Thors doing a ton of damage right now. Siege tank siege for Santa's Fey as well, so siege tanks, nice. Uh, siege tank placement by both teams as it looks like it may come down to that. Storm's coming down and doing a lot of damage to these zealots right as they spawn, but they're able to charge their way out of it. But there are Archons now coming in for Zatoa, and it looks like they may clean this up with Archons and siege tanks. And electrocuting that siege tank to death, putting some pressure on this photon cannon now as they are going to move in here and see if they can do some economic damage before the reinforcements come in. The gangsta is morphing in. It looks like sick zealots. I don't know if that's the best choice against Archons because Archons do do a lot of damage and more damage to biological, which I think zealots are. Yeah, they're biological. Uh, marauder, or Marines, that, those aren't Marauders. Stimming, and oh, looks like some Immortals coming up as well. Immortals really good against pretty much everything in this army. But uh, the good thing about this army is there are so many units right now that they're able to do just tons of damage. And it looks like, oh, siege tanks are still going to be sieging back here. More reinforcements coming in for Gangster right now as they do as much damage as possible. Ah, and it looks like the top team just barely going to hold. Meanwhile, down here at the bottom, there is a fight over this little piece of terrain right here. And it looks like Santa's Fate is going to have to go ahead and back up. Oh, looks like kind of chubby losing a couple of a couple of Vikings right there, but he does re retain control of the Zeldonga Watchtower, and with this Siege Tank, he's actually, if you put the Siege Tank right here, actually, then you don't even need to do any kind of scans or anything, because he can actually see farther than he can shoot. So, nice job there. Looks like a couple of a Starport and a Factory and another Factory going down for Count of Chubby, who does have both of these expansions, so Count of Chubby on four expansions right now. It looks like Bach on three, Gangster on two, um, and here comes another little push right here, and boom, there they are. Gonna go ahead and run away, or the wind. He does have, looks like plus one, plus one done, and um, just a ton of zealots with charge, getting some sentries as well. And now it looks like Bach is gonna opt to go around this way, and maybe try to put pressure onto Zatoa's expansion here. Zatoa does have some charge lots though, coming in here, and it looks like Ganks are gonna be pushing up with some stalkers, and just seeing what's gonna go on. A little defensive blink back with the stalkers, and just able to have these zealots run through a ton of siege tank fire and zealous taking so much damage and here comes another big battle as it looks like the wind gonna be pushing down gonna get caught kind of at the bottom of his rim great great siege tank placement by Bach and is gonna absolutely destroy all that and again point defense drones going down for Bach as well this Raven really paying for itself it does go end up going down but nice nice job and now it looks like Santa Santa's Fay is determined to break this position but I don't know if he has it he's gonna be dropping guys and uh, gonna be no not losing all that oh and it looks like Zatoa with Santa's Fay gonna be able to pick that apart and clean it up. And now they're gonna be pushing back up here as well. And this is what I was talking about, man. As soon as you lose little battles with these destructible rocks down, you literally can push right away. I mean, this rush distance is shorter than the shortest 1v1 map. <laughs> I'm thinking of Steps of War, obviously. <laughs> Nice little blink by gangster to come in here and do a ton of damage, sniping all of those siege tanks. And oh no, now a whole bunch of medevacs going to be getting killed as well. Only one surviving. Looks like, uh, that's right, there is an observer. Got to be careful, wind. And he's going to be running away with these DTs. DTs not as good when there are observers everywhere on the map. There we go, kind of chubby. Nice job here, S just securing this spot. Maybe a turret right here would be good. And a sensor tower right here. Hmm. That's the only thing as I could think of. And here we go, gonna be Colossus pushing in now. There are some siege tanks for Santa's Fe, and they're actually gonna be doing a ton of damage to these Colossus. Oh wow, looks like these Colossus are all gonna go down. Now Bach gonna be pushing in now, not even sieging up his siege tanks, and he's gonna have to pull back. Wow, and Zato is like, hey guys, I'm going to be pushing down the bottom, and I'll keep an eye on that as it looks like now Bach is going to be pushing here, but Zatoa down here at the bottom is going to be pushing in here. I don't think there is anything to really defend for Bach. No, there is not, so it looks like he's going to be losing that. Meanwhile, we go back to the center of the map, and we can see that Santa's Fe is going to be defending against Bach, who, because of that nice scan, is going to have to pull back even farther. Bach is on four bases. It looks like Santa's Fe is on three, and Zatoa is on three. 
and Bach is was on three, but he it was on two now, and he might actually lose this orbital. I don't think anybody's going to be able to get there in time. No, this orbital is going to go down. Three, two, one, blast off, and now and it goes. Oh, the joys in both awesomeness and sadness of being Terran. The good news is you can build your command centers like up by your main or your natural or whatever, and then they just can't be attacked, and then you can float them down. The bad news is once they get down to about 20% uh, health or so, then they start burning and taking additional damage. So only race that can do both of those, actually. So a little give and take going on there. Uh, personal cloaking going down. Ooh, for kind of chubby. So we're going to be getting some ghosts. Nice, nice. And oh, kind of chubby is saying, oh, no, I like that maneuver, actually. I'm going to do the same thing to Santa's Fe. And boom, Santa's Fe going to lose his expansion, but and a lot of um, SCVs, too. But the thing is, there is, like, no gold here left, so it doesn't really do that much. If you look over here, there's a little bit more, although that gold is fairly well mined as well. Looks like Gangsta is going to be pushing down this left lane now. And, yeah, people have started to um, discover that in addition to this very short attack distance here, you can also loop around the sides. Oh, don't tell anyone. But there are tons of back doors here. And it looks like both teams are going to be using back doors now. And only, oh, uh, Zeto has got to be careful. His forces got split. And it looks like, what is he doing? He's just looping, ring around the rosy-ish all over the place. Oh, man, oh, man. And what is this? Oh, it's the wind getting a couple of... Nice little um, units in here. Going to be doing some, dam some damage, some damage. But, oh, nope, nope, nope. This is way, way too well defended. Looks like Gangster coming in to defend as well, and that just getting absolutely smacked down. Meanwhile, it looks like Zatoa going to be attacking Bach here, and Bach going to be trying to run away. But, oh, Zatoa getting a nice little pinch pincer maneuver. There we go, as I try to take a breath. And going to be cleaning that up nicely done there. Looks like Gangster going to be trying to reinforce in the middle. But there is Santa's Fe. Oh, looks like he's going to have to run away. And Zatoa, where is he going? Looks like he's going back down here. It does not want this gold to be taken. So going to be killing some of Vox forces. And, yep, that expansion is going to get canceled. So nice job there. Meanwhile, in the middle of the map, it looks like we do have Wind and Santa's Fe duking out against... Um, I think that was Gangster, and uh, yeah, they have a pretty good force combined now, so they're going to be pushing up here, and Wind saying, take control, man, I just want to macro, and that's one good thing when you're doing twos, threes, fours, anything like that, you set your units, there's a little button up here in the corner, you can't see it because it's replay, but up here, and you can um, have your your uh, allies take control, that's especially good if one of your guys get rushed early or something, get killed, instead of having them leave, you can just focus on macro, and they can only micro because they don't have the macro anymore, so cool little tricks you can do. Looks like Gangster going to be evacuating all of his probes. Good idea there. He was way oversaturated. Oh, man. And, uh, yep, looks like, oh, looks like Zatoa pushing in from the side as well. So, kind of splitting the forces of the top. And it looks like Zatoa may just crush through here as well. And at the top, Santa's Fey and Wynn crushing through as well. So, Gangster getting just absolutely pinched in the middle here. Oh, no, these probes getting absolutely roasted away and electrocuted. Splash damage from these Archons doing a great job. There is one siege tank here, and the probe is going to try to do their best to block right now, but these siege, or these probes taking so much damage, and it looks like the siege tank, uh, if the Archons can get a range, uh, no, they're going to let him live. Wow, but there's so many units here for the bottom team. Are you kidding me? So many units as they push in here. And it looks like these Colossus going to try their best to, to uh, abuse the high ground, but not really abusing it at all. They both go down. It looks like kind of chubby going to be going ahead and doing a counterattack. There is DTs there, though. The wind really utilizing these DTs effectively. Scan going down now and killing all of the DTs. And kind of chubby now doing... Um, a good job of pushing in here and trying to take some pressure off, but I don't think there's going to be enough pressure taken off as the forces of the bottom are going to continue to move up here. They have totally breached. They have taken out both of these bases, and now they are into the mains and going to be killing production structures, and that's really what's going to hurt this late into the game is you can have lots of money, but if you can't reproduce your stuff, then that's too bad. It looks like Zatoa going to be falling back with some of his units and kind of chubby. A little bit not siege there. Going to be losing one siege tank before he can even do it. Uh, the charge lot's coming in here and going to finish off that little group here. And it looks like Bach has left the game now as Zatoa uh, looks like, yep, they have hold, held at the bottom and they are absolutely raping at the top. So I do not think there's going to be any chance for them to come back at this point. What a crazy good game. I really, really love games like this. This is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about Subscriber Saturday, guys. All right, yeah. Oh, and if you haven't watched my announcement video, I announced something pretty cool about Subscriber Saturday that I'm going to be doing starting next week. So go ahead and check that out. I'm not going to spoil it in this video. <laughs> I'm going to make you watch the other one. It's a whopping, like, minute long. So 
yeah go ahead and check that out i'm sure you guys will be pleased i'm excited about it so hopefully you guys are too meanwhile zatoa pushing in here there's the ggs from everybody and the rage quits and the keyboard smashing the nerd rage and everything else but it looks like the bottom team is going to be is going to be um a aggressive in this game. Well, actually, both teams are aggressive, but the bottom team is able to take the win. This game was submitted by Zatoa, I believe. So thank you so much for submitting the game. Congratulations on an awesome victory. Well, well played game. And this was gold level, guys. So, I mean, pretty good for gold. Pretty good for gold. Just saying. Just saying. Anyway, for Squiggles Starcraft, I am Squiggles, and I really want to look forward to hanging out with you guys next week. Oh, there, I kind of spoiled it. Whatever. All right, guys, I will see you guys later.